speaker. You gotta come out here. supporters of a fellow named Jim Santini. And therefore, all I'll say to you is thank you again for this greeting, which I'm sharing with him and his lovely wife. And I think now maybe you'd like to have Jim Santini say hello to you. And I'll let him do that if you promise me that you'll send him right out of Nevada come November and send him to Washington, D.C. Okay. Jim Santini. Mr. President, thank you so much for coming here to Nevada with all of your fans and your friends and the people who love what you've done for this nation and our state. President Reagan will go down in history as one of the finest leaders this nation has ever seen. Thank you for sharing this time with President Reagan. Today. I am. It's on account of I was governor of a state and now I'm the president, and both capitals that I served in were the allergy capitals of the world. <laughs> 
we have a pollen count in Washington that just won't stop. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm on my way to California on this particular trip. The press is all billing it as a vacation. But I agree with what Nancy has been calling. Nancy said, what she said was true about presidents. She said presidents don't get vacations. They just get a change of scenery. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't care what it is as long as it's in the West. <laughs> Especially happy to be here in, in the company of your great senators, Paul Laxall, Chick Heck, and the senator that you're going to send to Washington, Jim Santini. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to say a heartfelt thank you for all that you're doing for Jim, for Nevada, and for America. You know, appointing tough-minded judges, holding down government spending, refusing to raise taxes, and standing up to those who would make us less free, these are deep-seated beliefs of the American people, and they're what Republicans stand for, and what senators have to work hard for and to keep, keep them alive and well. And that's why Jim Santini, well, I know that he believes in all of those same beliefs, and I know that he will battle for them and to see that they're preserved in this country of ours. Now, you've shown your support for Jim in a very substantial material way, but could I ask you to do a little more than that? You know, let me go along the way around, and it won't be that long, but back in Hollywood some years ago, Hollywood got concerned about its business and they did a lot of researching and studying about uh, the industry and the marketing of the product. And they were amazed to find out that after all their advertising and their great big billboards and everything else, that the most effective advertising the motion picture industry had was word of mouth. That person that said, hey, have you seen the picture at the Bijou this week? Uh, that sort of thing. Well, the same thing, I think, is a little true in politics. Most of us are busy in uh, America here and our own problems and our own living, and, and we're not quite sure of what some of the issues are in Washington or exactly what's going on. And this is true then with regard to candidates. So in addition to what you've already done, take it up conversationally. Talk to your neighbors about what the issues are in this coming senatorial race here. Talk it up at the club. Do it at work, wherever. By word of mouth, spread the word of the things that are at issue and at stake in Washington right now that affect everyone's lives and why it is so important that Jim Santini arrives in Washington as your senator. And now, having said that, and knowing that you're going to have to listen to me again <laughs> in just a few minutes, I'm going to quiet down, and uh, I understand I'm going to have a chance to greet each one of you and there'll be some picture taking. Uh, again, thank you. God bless you all. Believe it or not, you heard what I said about a vacation? I just have to be going a minute for a phone call. <laughs> We're done for now. So we can get inside. Yeah. You're running. You're rolling. And the chairman of tonight's very successful Nevada salute to President Reagan. the Republican Party and Nevada's senior senator, the Honorable Paul Laxalt and Mrs. Laxalt.
Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, accompanied by the Honorable and Mrs. Jim Santini. restored national pride. You have brought us the strongest, and it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the great state of Nevada, the wonderful people of Nevada who love you as much as we do. Thank you very much. tell you right now that it's situations like this one that we just saw in Washington that make it so obvious why we need Jim Santini in the Senate. <laughs> called for aid to the conference and to our other allied states down there in, in Central America. And the vote has just taken place a short time ago. say it's only round one, but oh boy, we're round. Now, we've got several more votes tonight, so we can't quit. And we can get the freedom fighters in Nicaragua the assistance that they desperately need. Well, it's wonderful to be in Nevada again. It's difficult for me to... <laughs> and you know, on other shows, or the second show, and some people might laugh, when you said something funny, but in the dinner show, they kind of have to blame the lives. Much, much has changed since those days. For one thing, I, I'm a Republican now. <laughs> Tonight, we're here to honor, quite ready to re-register. We not only want them to switch labels, we want them to get involved to be a part of the team and to utilize their skills and talents. Now that means running for office, terrific. Take it from me, it's no easy affair to re-register, even after years or two in England world, Winston Churchill changed parties. And he made this comment, and it's very appropriate tonight. He said, some people change principle for party. Vote against those 1981 tax cuts. During his years in the House, Jim represented Nevada. Well, you'll agree with me, we didn't leave the Democratic Party. It left us. <laughs> Serious useless boards and commissions, and the return to states and local communities of the autonomy and authority that had been unjustly seized by the federal government. I... And the optimism of this generation is infectious. And then, I'll tell you, earlier this month, I visited some young Marines going through boot camp in Paris Island, South Carolina. The United States Senate that will keep America moving forward, rather than trying to pull us back to inflation, stagnation, and pessimism. It's a vote to keep the revolution. I've been tagged. <laughs> we have tremendous opportunities ahead in these next few years. One example is the tax bill we've been working on for so long. Only a short time ago, tax reform was declared dead. Equities in a system that allows two neighbors earning about the same income to bear dramatically different tax burdens. And that breeds cynicism and disrespect for the law. It's even worse in business. How does a corporate executive feel about his income tax? Maybe we should start saying we've got three brackets. Zero, 15, and 27. 
Those people at the bottom of the scale will be taken off the rolls altogether. And with the reforms of which we can all be proud, yes, the American people are better off. But they're better off, and I would say because of the country. It is not and will not be handled in an arbitrary or political fashion. What we must do. What we must do is reject those who would politicize this. I recognize that this is a very controversial process and that there are sincere differences of opinion about certain provisions of the Nuclear Waste Policy Act. And I must tell you, Nevada has an abundance of this invaluable resource. I'm sure you're all aware of all that Frank Ferenkov has done for the Republic. And she would have been here, was supposed to be here with us this evening, but. She was back in Washington today because we didn't know all day long how that she was the margin. She was the well, there are pressures in Washington that make a Las Vegas crab table look like an oasis of calm. <laughs> but through it all, Barbara King. Finally, you've got the fellow who I saved for last. I've known Paul Laxalt since the days when we were governors of so one of the most naturally beautiful states in the Union. Within a short distance from here, there stands magnificent Mount Charleston, with all its strength and grand soul, the inspiration of Nevada, the home of great people in the land of the brave and the free. From the other party on the other side, that is not the way the checks and balances are supposed to work. The two senators represent a state. Thank you all for this.